Hey y'all, Billy from Perfect Pastures Farm, and I'm with, well actually I'm at his farm, and it's at a festival that many of you just missed. It's called the Back to the Land Festival, and this is the second year of it. My man Daniel, this guy is extraordinarily talented. I'm trying to talk him into doing a YouTube channel, not so sure that's gonna happen, but we're at the end of it now. But we're gonna do this video a little bit different because William has spent time talking to all the little kids around here, and of course got permissions from the parents to, to do some of this stuff. That's right. You gotta make sure of that. And we've talked to him and we've um, we had a really good time. But I wanna talk to the guy who, who actually it's your farm, but I'm not you worked with Matt and Gabby to put this on, right? Yeah, exactly. How do you think it went? I think it went really great. It was really exciting. It was a ton of work to do it for the first time on our farm. But it was super rewarding and to get the feedback and learn how to you know, move a lot of people around on the property and just, yeah, I think it was overall really good. I had a lot of um, really good comments and feedback about it. Yeah, you, I mean, it's fantastic. And uh, you got a bully for a sister that uh, likes to push me around yeah. and just happens to be over there right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, yeah. she's she's a sweet, and everybody else here is just absolutely wonderful. It's been a joy, and um, but folks, I can keep your eyes on him and what he's doing because not only is he an extraordinary musician, which I didn't know the full extent of until last night, but he's also a pretty uh, formidable farmer as well. So he does a lot of wonderful things. He's a young guy, but he is doing powerful and extraordinary things, and he's opened up his place to learn for to allow a whole bunch of people to learn something they didn't know before today. So with that said, we're gonna move on into talking to these kids. Mike, check out my channel on Instagram. So I'm not doing YouTube, but Instagram. You can look me up, Daniel Amick um, on Instagram. So yeah, Daniel Amick, we'll put the link in the description. I'm sure that'll be awesome. So, That's right. Yeah, thanks, Billy, for coming out. Thank you Boy, so much, my man. Yeah, it's been a yeah, joy. Great. What's that look like, Justin? Yeah. So I can get it. Hey y'all, this is William from Perma Pastures Farm and here I have the world's youngest homesteader. He's a 12 year old homesteader. His parents have full time jobs and uh, he, he's running the whole thing by himself. What's your name, man? Ty. Ty. And you have a YouTube channel, right? Yes. Okay, what's the name of your YouTube R &L channel? RNL Homestead. RNL Homestead? Mm -hmm. All right, and that will be linked down in the description below. And right now you're doing a 30 day challenge. Yes. What's, what's, uh, what's like, what's the challenge? What do you have to do? Um, so I'm going to do 30 days of videoing, and then I'm going to take a two-week break, and then I'm going to go every day. Every day? Yep. Wow. That is cool. So every, for the people who don't know, videotaping a video for every day and editing and uploading it is a big challenge. And he's running a homestead all at the same time. Of all the, on your homestead, what all, what all do you have there? Uh, I got cows, pigs. Lots of chickens, ducks, a guard goose, quail, guineas, and meat birds. That is awesome. What is your what is your favorite animal system? Um, probably the layers. The layers? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Is everything on a rotation? Are you grazing? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so how often do you move your animals? Uh, the layers we do about every three days, and the cows every day and wow. the pigs um, about every three to four days. That is awesome. So do your, are your cows following your, your pigs? Do you have pigs following your cows? Do you have chickens following your cows? Um, How's so your the, grazing rotation look? So the pigs are in the woods trying to clear more pasture. Mm -hmm. And then the cows are just, we're just trying to get them to eat all our grass. And then we have the chickens behind the cows scratching all the cow pads. That's awesome. That is awesome. Do you have an issue with managing your time? Like, do you have, you realize like this is too much for you to do all in one day or is this um, like perfect or can you add more systems? Do you have extra time? Do you, can you add more we systems? We could probably add more systems. That yeah. is awesome. Cool. Um, so what at systems would you want to add in the future? What um, are some systems you're wanting to, wanting to get into that you're excited about? 
Probably some more cows and more pigs. You want more cows and more yeah. pigs? Which one is your favorite to eat? All of them, because this is, yeah. this boy's a carnivore, right? Vegetables yeah. and fruit, that's just your food's food, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So where, once again, where can they find you? R and L Homestead. And that'll be linked down below. Do you have a goal for your subscriber count at the end of this 30 days? Um, At least over 100. At least over 100. All right, y'all. At least over 100. That's what we need to get him to for his 30-day challenge. And then he's going to take two weeks off and then do another 30 days after that, right? Yep. All right, what's your goal for that 30 days? Um, I'm not sure. You're not sure? Come up with a goal and then yeah. we'll uh, we'll get you squared away. Yeah. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you. What this does, it takes the stone down a lot more because you got so many different contacts. You can see though, like you get cuts. Right. It really goes. We're at 10. Hey, I'm William from Perma Pastures Farm and here we have Honeysuckle Farm, and she is 10 years old, right? Yes. And you're a homesteader? Yes, so. All right. Now, what's your favorite part? You were telling me about these flowers earlier. What are these? Zinnias. What's your favorite part of homesteading? Um, gardening with Mama. Gardening with Mama? I thought it was going to be flowers. Flowers and haltering the horses. Haltering the horses? So you like horses? Yes. Wow. Are you going to just start a little cut flower business? Actually, yes. You are? Uh-huh. Wow. What are you gonna do? Like I'm arrangements? Gonna do, yes, I'm gonna do them in Hickman County Lyles. I'm going to do bouquets for our homeschool group, which is in Dixon. Wow. And I'm gonna, there's somebody there that sells vegetables that she grows, so I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna sell flowers like zinnias or dahlias or wow. stuff like that in the springtime. You know your flowers, and you know when they bloom. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> So if they want to buy like bouquets or arrangements from you, can they do that? Yes. Where can. where can they do that? Can they find you at any farmers markets or online? I'm probably gonna might do farmers markets, but my starting my starting plan is to take them to my homeschool. Your homeschool group, and you're gonna see how they sell there. Yes. That's cool. Do you know your profit margins on these yet? Nope, because I don't know how much the seeds are or how much they're gonna cost. I have to add that all up. So. That's awesome. I'm thinking one dollar. Per bouquet. Well, now that's on. Now it's famous, so it's got to be more oh. than that. Oh. Oh. Okay, oh. here we go. <laughs> here we go. Awesome. Where can they find you? Um, still working on that, but either at the farmers market in Centerville, if I go there, I have to mm -hmm. still a few minor details. Yeah. Farmers market in Centerville, or maybe the one in Dixon. Maybe the one in Dixon. Can they find you online? No. Could Cause I don't know how to form it. What about YouTube? Oh yeah. What's the name of the channel? Honeysuckle Farm Tea, and that's what I thought. I All just right. can't remember something. That's good. It'll be linked down below in the description box. Thank you.